channel and for another camera review. <laughs> um, this is a, a no-name brand camera called the D5 Full HD SLR camera. Comes with a manual, pigeon English. Uh, yeah, it's fairly easy to get to grips with. It does give you all the information you need. Um, Payback modes, USB mode. And it does give you the specs, etc. Right, it's saying here that image resolution is sixteen millimeter. Sixteen millimeter. Sorry, uh, it's saying here that uh, image resolution is sixteen. Megapixel, 20 megapixel, 24, 36, 48, 56, and 64. You've got continuous shooting off on default up to five shots. It's actually saying five sheets here, but it's actually five shots. Um, high quality, standard, economical picture, I would have thought. Sharpness, strong, standard and soft. White balance is automatic, daylight, cloudy, tungsten, uh, filament and fluorescent. ISO is auto and 100 to 200. You've got exposure, two, uh, plus 2, plus 5.3, plus 4.3. Yeah, it's numerous and it also goes minus as well. Uh, actually, that comes in very useful, that, uh, as you will see later on in the video. Uh, and to hand shake on off, you have, uh, now, that again only works on the actual, when you're taking photos, it doesn't work on video. <clears throat> it doesn't explain that very well in here, though. You've got quick preview of two seconds, five seconds. Default is five seconds when enabled within shortcut keys. You've got date label, camera timer, off, three seconds timing, five seconds and ten seconds. Uh, you've got photographic on off sound. Uh, resolution is 4K, uh, 1080p HD and 720 and you've got uh, VGA but that does change the image size as well they have got loop recording 1 minute, 2 minutes, 3 minutes up to 5 minutes motion detection on off recording audio on off record mode, normal, slow action and there was slow motion and delayed photographery. Uh, you've got delete, current, delete all, protect so you can lock the photos in place if you want to. Date and time, which is adjustable. Uh, what else have we got here? Automatic shutdown. You can set it for off one minute or three minutes. Uh, you've got screen saver. 3 minutes, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, sound on off button, shutter sound recording mute. Language English, traditional Chinese, simplified Chinese, Japanese, French, German, Korean, Italian, Portuguese, Russian and Spanish. Um, you've got light frequency, so to stop flickering on the pictures. 50 or 60 hertz. You've got format. Reset to default settings. Now um, you've got version. This is a version D5 V1.0. Right, you've got uh, product specifications. Model D5 Wi Fi. Uh, it can connect to your phone, um, 
I have had about five attempts and haven't been able to do it yet. You've got front and rear image at Cosmos. It's a one inch of 1.68 sensor. Uh, maximum is 64 megapixel and 4K maximum. Camera angle is 120 degrees uh, fixed focal length lens LED display lens a uh, screen sorry which is three inches and it's 480 by 852 uh, optional 62 millimeter micro lens fill light microphone stabilizer bracket but I didn't get those I've just got the bare camera Memory card up to 120 gig. Video format is AVI. Photo format is JPEG. Audio is WAVE. Yeah, it might well be WAVE, but yeah, the sound quality is atrocious from that microphone. But as I say, it's very good if you use a lavalier mic. I had excellent results with that, no problem at all. Zoom ratio is 1 to 16. Now, I didn't, I only, I only got, I'm sure I only got it to zoom in five times. It reckons one to 16 on there. But it doesn't specify that that only works on the photo, not on the actual video. Power output, what they mean, power supply rather, uh, output voltage 5 volts, current 1.5 amps. Lens is an f2.7 stop, 95mm, also has an IR cut filter on it, and believe me that does work, works extremely well indeed. Um, battery, you've got a 4800mAh built in lithium battery, low battery is uh, 36 volts it reminds you that it's running low power consumption it says it's 1.639 watts okay and interface is usb tf card slot battery compartment and headphone jack now the batteries in this are 18650s and they're in a pack so if they ever did go down you could actually replace them you can undo a screw take them out and just fit in a new pack um, so yeah so that's all the information about that so this is the actual camera SLR style camera as I say it's got a fixed focal length manual uh, focusing uh, very good focusing actually it's very sharp um, now the lens had a weird thing on it when this came it actually had a white piece of a uh, white a see-through piece of perspex on the front of it not quite sure what the object of that was but it caused reflections in the image you could actually see stuff bouncing off the off that bit of perspex um, but you can unscrew it and you can remove that perspex so I did um, it has got an interchangeable lens you can add a micro lens to this if you want to uh, that button is false doesn't do anything a power button photo and video button menu buttons different menu buttons for setting up for what you want to do take photos video audio or playback um mp3 music files why you'd want to do that i have no idea <coughs> also has a four-way ring on here if you push it up it goes into night mode because this does do actually um infrared recording but the 
infrared beam is out of the, there and it's not very good but if you put an infrared uh, floodlight works exceptionally well absolutely fantastic they're cheap enough to buy they're only about 15 quid and you get exceptional night vision out of this absolutely very good um, now the only thing I would say is the sensor on this is extremely sensitive it does really pull in light there's no doubt about that but on night vision it becomes extremely pixelated pixelated so I found for best results is you knock it down to minus five on um, the exposure to settings and that works absolutely perfect um, yeah you've got your three inch screen I will turn it on just comes up camera right now you have this like little sub menu here at the moment it's flashing up photo if you push OK, it will actually go into photo mode. So you can actually take a snapshot of that, or a photo rather. You hear it go off. Um, the images are very, very good actually. Now, it's showing one time zoom there. Now, they reckon it's 16. Well, I don't believe it is, but we'll press the button and find out. Ah, right, okay, sorry, I'm pressing the wrong button. Sorry, right. Uh, that changes it from front to rear camera. As you can see, the image is very clear. Press that button, it will change back again. Okay, so you can take photos like that as well. So this is in photo mode, remember, at the moment. Okay. If you press and hold... It will zoom in. Eight times. Ten times. Oh, it does do 16. Except it does it in large steps. That's what caught me out. And to go back out again, you press and hold. Oh, there you go. Oh, well, that one. You literally come out like that. Yeah, a bit of a strange one, that. I'm a bit confused about that. Yeah, a bit odd. Right, if you switch it in to infrared mode, it's now in infrared. And it is really true infrared. It's very, very good. I will show you footage and you'll be, yeah, pretty impressed. Um, you know, for a 40 quid camera, it's very good. If they put decent infrared lights on the front, then it would have been self-contained. And you would have got good night vision but they they let it down on that uh, but as i say if you do add one of these infrared floodlights like i've got um you you get extremely clear images and you press it again it'll go to a sort of another filter which is still night vision but it's just some sort of movie color not quite sure what that's about. Press it again, goes back into normal colour. Okay. Right. So. Go back. Press the button up the top there. It goes back to the menu. Then go to video mode. Press it. We're now in video. And so you press the button on the top. It's now recording. In 1080p full HD uh, I've got it set to exposure normal which is zero as I say it goes up to plus minus five oh, sorry yeah plus minus five goes up to plus five or down or down to minus five uh, minus five seems to work much better um, on the night vision um, so press it again it then stops filming um, go back into the menu again 
and you've got sound recording. Right, that is now doing the sound recording. And let me assure you, it sounds diabolical. Um, I, I bought myself a lavalier mic to go with this. And that works exceptionally well. It's very clear. It records in WAV file and it is very, very clear. But the internal microphone on this is soldered to the circuit board inside. And so you pick up every movement, every creak in the body. Not that there is that many creaks. I mean, it's, it's solidly made, this camera, to be fair. Um, so I'll stop that. Right, so if I go into here, you can view photos. So it brings up your photos. Okay, if I go back again, no, cancel, sorry, press the wrong button, right, if I go back to there, it shows you video files, numbers and one, so forth. So it's got seven to seven there. Okay. And it records in AVI. I think I did tell you that earlier. Um, so you can navigate through. That's easy enough. And then you can play back your video. So, easy enough. Um, recordings. There's actually sound recordings. I'll play that back and see if it come out. Yeah, that's how bad it is. It's so bad you can't hear it. Yeah, it is there, but it's so quiet. Uh, the microphone's absolutely useless. Um, they actually do supply... A yeah, so you can hear movement. Yeah, not impressive. Um, yeah, so come out of there. Goes back to the normal menu. Uh, you've got model type. Then you've got Wi-Fi. Now I've tried. I've had five attempts at this. It's supposed to connect to your phone, directly to your phone. Um, I cannot get it to connect. It, it keeps saying there's something wrong with the password or something. Now, the password on this is 1234567.8. Now, I put that in and it said not recognised. So, yeah, not quite sure about that. Uh, I, will have a, I will keep trying, but... Yeah, don't seem to be doing it. So then you've got MP3 playback, but obviously there are no files, so it's saying no files. But you can put music on there. Why Why you would want to put music on there? I have absolutely no idea. Crazy. Um, right, so, yeah, as I say, it's, it's a well-built camera. I mean, it's, it's, it's dirty. Um, yeah, that's the other thing. Um, it comes with a strap and everything, but don't put the strap on it because all you can hear when you're filming is the strap hitting the sides of the body of the camera. Unless, of course, you're using a lavalier mic, then it's not a problem. They do do a shotgun mic that goes with this. Uh, which you can buy separately, which I think I did tell you earlier in the manual. Um, so that probably works very well as well, but um, yeah, you can't, you cannot use the mic in this. Um, now I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it clearly. That's the microphone. So the microphone not on the front, it's on the back. And the other lens 
for it to show you is here. So that's not an eyepiece, that is the rear camera. But again, works very well. So yeah, very impressed with that. So for the money, yeah, it's not bad. You get what you pay for. Um, the speaker in the front, uh, I don't know if you can see it there. Uh, yeah, that works very well. Um, it's not bad. The only thing left to do now is show you some footage. And uh, I'll show you that footage right now. Thank you. 